All right, so I haven't had much video footage of this project here. This thing came out of uh, a buddy's house on the side. It was in a tarp for over a year, so it was completely trashed. <laughs> uh, my buddy told me to come pick it up. He said I could have it, essentially. And when I got to it, I almost didn't even want it. That's how uh, horrible it looked. And as you can see, the plastics are busted up. I'm gonna take the plastics off. Everything's running actually great. I replaced the whole entire wiring harness, everything. Um, new starter, uh, stator, everything. Um, new brakes, new uh, brake line. The only problem I have right now is when I switch the carbs out, um, the throttle cable into the other carb, uh, the needles were different sizes and the springs were different sizes. So I put it in, it's essentially just incredibly touchy, so I have to take a little piece of that metal covering off. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take the throttle cable off and take the handlebars off. Um, that way I can get this cover off because I actually bought a 3x5 vinyl wrap. Um, so I'm going to kind of sand this down, see if I can, you know, essentially give a ghetto repair on the underside of this, wrap it, and that way it'll look a much more presentable than this horrible repainted gray that it is. So the cool thing is, um, it's running, it rips, no problem, everything's got a new battery, everything's brand new. I'm about 165 bucks into it right now um, with everything. So without further ado, let's take off the handlebars, let's take off the throttle cable. Alright, because I changed out the carb on this and didn't change the original throttle cable, um, I found that the spring sizes and the needle sizes were different between the two different carbs. So this is a 2006. So you really can't really find any parts for the, the Sunel 100cc, which is essentially what this is. So whether it's a Tau Tau or a Transformer or whatever, they all kind of use these same universal parts. Um, but I think I can save this throttle cable because essentially all I need to do is remove a little bit of the casing and that way it won't be essentially trying to move forward with it idled, which is essentially what it does right now. So it's super touchy um, and you have to keep the parking brake on so it doesn't go all by itself. So let's take the top of this off and show you what we got inside here. Here's our underside, nothing crazy. And inside here, we have our little throttle cable piece. And uh, let's just take that guy out of there. Bend this little dude up. Let's get a flathead screwdriver. And just open that little baby up a little bit. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we're released, and you can see we don't have much room for this housing to sit in here. So we essentially need to remove. A little bit of this pipe. So, I'm wondering where I'm going to get it from. And last time before I did it, I actually, uh, I want to say, I removed just a little bit because I knew there would be a problem. I didn't move, uh, remove enough. I removed a quarter inch. And obviously you can see that this adjustment nut is not helping me because I had it all the way to the max. So. I'm going to bring this guy out to its max so I can essentially adjust it down if I need to after I cut off those pieces. So let's put it essentially three quarters to the end of the range. And that way, if I need to, I have at least another quarter inch of play after I cut this piece off. But what I'm going to do now is take the handlebars off, take the plastics off so I can get to the carb. And uh, we'll do that. All right, so just to make our lives a lot easier, we're going to take the handlebars off, take the plastics off, because I ordered a wrap, and I'm going to have to prep the plastics and wrap it this weekend, so I might as well take everything off. Um, my objective was to make sure that it runs, and it actually runs perfectly well. Um, I'm actually impressed how easily it started up. So this is, these are 12 millimeter bolts right here. We'll take these babies off. And um, I'll show you what it looks like on the underside of everything. And then I'll pull that carb needle out, and then I'll grab the old carb and show you the differences. Um, 
So this previous one, it had a choke on the handlebar. So this new starter uh, kill switch up here is honestly really crappy compared to the one that it actually previously had on. So I don't know if I was actually going to interchange parts, but the problem is this new carb has a choke on it. Um, so I had to change essentially the starter. So I couldn't keep the original on it unless I wanted to splice lines, which I definitely didn't want to do. Another thing is the new wiring harness. This one has two headlights. Um, and the new wiring harness is essentially just for the solo headlight. The plastics on these make or break it. You know, like to order a new plastic set for these, it's almost 200 bucks. I mean, the whole thing's not even worth 200 bucks. And as it sits right now, just parts to make this thing run and operate safely, you're talking I'm 165 bucks into it, you know? So, you gotta be careful with these things. Unless you get them for free, uh, they're not worth it unless you wanna repair it. So, the, like, so the flip margin on one of these things is low. Low, low, low. You're better off just buying a new one from Amazon for 700 bucks. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we're done with it. It might look presentable. I might throw it on Craigslist. It could be worth, you know, at 100 cc's, probably 500 bucks. So let's get these handlebars off. Let's see what we got going on over here. I was able to snake it through, but you'll see how tight this cutout is for these plastics trying to get everything out with keeping everything attached um, kind of annoying and I ordered a new gas cap because the gas cap was obviously destroyed and of course it wasn't an exact fit I mean it stays on but it's not gorgeous so that's got to come off in order to take the plastics off and uh, another thing is I got to take the ignition out. I'll take this off right now to show you guys. So I'm going to have to take the ignition out, which was kind of ghettoly put in there. Uh, I'm going to have to unplug our back light from the wiring harness to take our plastics off because that is attached. And as you can see, I have some repair to do here. Um, the fairings were cracked. And they obviously cut off this other fairing. It must have been cracked pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to see if I can kind of plastic weld it from the underside. And then when I wrap it, um, will it make um, it more presentable? So we'll see. So unplugged our back light. And unfortunately, this thing's not strapped on by too much. I have one rusty bolt right here. Um, and we have two bolts on the sides. So we'll take these two bolts out and we'll take the plastics off and we'll see if we can finagle um, those handlebars out without taking something off. Let's try that. here I mean I'm assuming this green would be the original color which is kind of dope I <laughs> did the Kawasaki green um, the top piece as you can see we're kind of busted out so there's a lot of contour and curves to this so we'll see if I can wrap it with some woodland camo see how it goes you can see the back is all cracked up but um, we're gonna have to probably power wash this sand it up, clean it up real good, and prep it. If the rat doesn't work, whatever, then we'll just spray it. Um, anything would make it look better than this. I think this is the biggest problem. So, the whole new wiring harness, this thing had one of those remote kill switches, but it wasn't working. When I first got it, it wasn't getting any spark. 
um, it had um, a kill switch that I kind of had to put it back into itself. Um, so now it runs perfectly fine. Um, the big thing is, you know, the choke is right here. It didn't have a pet cock on it. I don't know if I know if I'm gonna want to put one on or what. Um, so what we got to do right now is we're gonna take that needle cut the top of the carb out, and we're gonna cut some of that metal off of it, so our throttle is a little bit longer, so it doesn't rev as it sits in the housing. So Let's get in here and take that thing off. Do I gotta take the gas tank off? Uh... Alright, let's see if we can get this uh, needle out without having to pull the gas tank. Not that that's that big of a deal, but um, we don't have to do it, we don't have to do it. It might be more of a pain in the ass than we want it to be. So, let's find out. Just pull the gas tank, son of a bee. All right. All right, so I really can't get to the top of the car without pulling the gas tank, so we'll see. Um, it's only two bolts. We got one right here. Let's see, is this a 10 millimeter? Yeah, good. All right. There we go, both bolts out of the gas tank. So we are going to uh, get the throttle cable off of this guy. Right. Let's see. Alright, so there's a little needle. Let's put that off the side right here. We got a little spring. Got the throttle cable out. And this was the part that went down inside of the carb. Okay. And up on the handlebars, what I gotta do is take probably, probably take a half inch off, and that way I can adjust a little bit more, maybe a quarter inch, I should probably go slow. But as you can see, where you can adjust it, I bring this all the way down so I have a little bit of room to adjust once I reinstall everything. But right here, as you can see, I'm going to remove a quarter inch of this sheath so I don't have continual pressure on the throttle cable so we're just gonna unwind this little guy and break it off um, it's a little bit harder than you would assume that cable is or that that steel is pretty tough so essentially I just use pliers a needle nose I'm sure there's a better way to do it um, I tried like a little mini hacksaw but it was just easier to just unwind it so uh, let's do that now all right so we're gonna have to take a quarter inch off of our, our throttle cable line and uh, essentially what I'm just going to do is pull the threading a little bit and wind this around it and then snip it off so I'll show you what I'm going to do here I don't know if this is the correct technique on how to do it but I find that unwinding is difficult so I kind of just stretch it a little bit and then you can kind of just take your throttle cable and Kind of go around it a little bit. Take that and uh, stretch it a little bit more. And we'll wind that off a little bit. I don't want to damage my throttle cable, but I think that's a good start.
that might do it. Let's take this down, bend that over a little bit, scratch it out, and then uh, we'll cut that little piece off and stuff it in there and see if that's going to be good enough. Let's cut this little guy off. Don't cut the throttle cable. Yeah, fire! Alright, nice. I think we're gonna be in business. Alright, let's put this little guy down in through here. Stuff that in there. And we got some space for adjustments here. Boom! Yo, I think, sir, we are now in business. So, we gotta get our little needle, our spring back together, put this guy back into the carburetor, and then we're gonna take it outside for a quick test run. I think we are essentially in business here. Slide him through here. Wonderful. Boom. Now we got the space. And I can stay just like that. I can go in there like that. We'll slide this down. Just so it holds it in place a little bit better. Okay. Are we in there? We're in there. Okay. Spring. Squeeze that little baby up there like that. Tuck you in. And there, bingo, baby. We are now ready to put that in there, and the throttle's not going to be ripping. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Once I started changing everything out, <laughs> it's like you change one thing, you have to keep changing everything. Like, you can't just put on a new... Um, kill switch because on the previous kill switch had the throttle body on it or, or the choke on it so it's like you remove that there was no way to attach the choke unless you wanted to cut it and pull it from the edge of the carb which you could definitely do that's what my dirt bike has you know it's just this little tiny pull choke on the edge um, so let's get this guy back in place and uh, start buttoning everything up alright so we're gonna put this throttle body back in place throttle cable I should say have it run underneath here. We'll get this guy to go down. There is a groove that lines up. There's a groove inside. You can't really miss it. It should slip right down inside. And just make sure that your little gasket's not going to get squished anywhere. Make sure that's on the right way. Good. Compress that guy down. Let me screw this top piece on. Oh. Come on, baby. Yeah, let's push you down nicely. Keep you down. should do our throttle cable adjustment when we change the carb out. Should have thought of that when I first did it. I uh, should have thought the adjuster when I went through. But that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, so we'll get this uh, gas tank put back down. Get that little 10 millimeter. this throttle cable back inside of here and see what kind of uh, allowances we get. And that all looks good. Okay. Here we go. I'm hoping. 
open. We got some freedom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And we still got some room for adjustments. We'll give it a little bit more. We'll adjust it down just a little bit. Okay. Look at that. Look at that freedom, dude. Woo-wee. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay. There was this little rubber gasket. Let's get this guy on there. Even though it's kind of beat the shit. Let's see. Get you on there. Get you on there. I know this is going to do more harm than good, but we'll see. Alright. That'll go just like that. Mr. Bojangles. Okay. Let's put this little dude up in there. Yikes. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. We in business. I'm not gonna zip tie it because uh, I'm gonna have to take it off again anyways to put the handlebars back on. If I could even get them things to go back on that way. Right man. Screw this down. I think we're in business. That feels great. All right. So I uh, made this little basket out of this cloth that I had, so just so I can get this thing running and I can ride it and I can feel safe that's in there so we'll put on our uh, battery terminals and then I'm gonna pull it out into the garage and get this thing started test our throttle cable see if everything's okay and um, take it for a rip We are in business. Let's get this thing off. Okay, we got the battery hooked up. We got our key and our ignition here.
test the carb a little bit. Tighten up the throttle cable a little bit. Cable assembly now is working wonderfully. It's idling great. We're in business, so the only thing we gotta do now is we're gonna wrap that plastic, put it back together, see if we can flip this thing. Thanks for watching.